Welcome back to Good Day Columbia, 838 now, as you're waking up on a Halloween. And it's been a wide open day, or a fun day as well. And on Sunday, we're talking about a fun event, but first I want to tell you about this. Over 1 million people deal every day with type 1 diabetes, also known as juvenile diabetes, and 30,000 new cases every year come up. That comes down to one an hour, if you go ahead and do that math out. Now, the name notwithstanding, of those 30,000 people, only thir uh, 13,000 are children. Now, the disease suddenly strikes, and it can have a devastating complication. Thankfully, the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation is a group dedicated to finding the cause for a cure, and it's not only, it's not caused by obesity and by diet, is it? No, it's not. No. All right, Kylie. Well, this is six-year-old Kylie Fry. How are you, dear? Good. Are you good? Good. Now, you have diabetes, I understand. Yeah. Is that at six years old? Really? How old are you? Eight. eight. Oh, you're eight. six, eight. Okay, I understand. Six or eight years old. Well, you have you have juvenile diabetes. Mm -hmm. How, well, tell me about that. What does that mean? Well, it's like I don't get my insulin through my body. It doesn't work right. Mm -hmm. So I have to have a pump. That's where I get my insulin from. Oh, from a pump. How old were you when you when you were diagnosed with diabetes? Eight months old. Eight months old. My goodness. Eight months. You don't remember that, do you? No. <laughs> no, all right. So you have to have a pump. Now, what does that pump do? It gives me the insulin Easy. for, like, so you see there's, like, carbs on the food. Right. And I have to put that insulin, I have to put all the carbs in here. Okay. And then it tells me how much insulin I have to do. Then I go ahead and put that in, and right. it, like, takes care of my blood sugar. So it, it does it for you. You have to put your stuff in and adjust it. So yes. that means you got to watch your diet and stuff like that, huh? Yeah. Well, let's talk about the walk for a minute, because that's happening on Sunday, the walk for a cure, right? Mm -hmm. So, Have you done that before? Yeah. Yeah. Did you do it last year? Yeah. How was it? It's like three miles. It's a long walk, isn't it? Yeah. So tell me about the walk. What happens on Sunday with the, with the JDRF? Well, we walk to cure diabetes, mm -hmm. and we're trying to f um, find a cure by raising money and all types of stuff. All types of stuff. You know, I met another friend who has diabetes as well, Miss Shelby. She had a, a chili cook-off the other day. She raised $5,000 for the walk on Sunday. Right? <laughs> That's a lot of money. So Sunday is the walk. It's at the Colonial Life Arena. Registration's at 1, right? Mm -hmm. Walk starts at 2. And here's the cool thing. You don't have to pay to do the walk, you, but you're encouraged to donate, right, or to get other people to donate. So if you have 10 friends and say, hey, give me 10 bucks, how much is that? 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100. Are you sure you're only 8? <laughs> 100 bucks, like that. Just like that for JDRF. Well, thank you very much for sharing your story. You're awesome. I love you. You got that pump. You're doing your own thing. That is awesome at eight years old, Miss Kylie. So Sunday is the walk. Come out and meet Kylie firsthand, right? Come out and say hi to everybody. Absolutely. And do it. Uh, do it for friends with JDR. There's so many people who are affected, uh, afflicted uh, by juvenile diabetes. So make sure you come out and do your part. Take a walk. It's going to be a nice day on Sunday. Stick around. Good day is coming right back.